Ladies and gentlemen, in today's video, we're going to be going over my Titanfall 2 Titan tier list. Now, as many of you guys know, Titanfall 2 is officially back, and that's because Respawn Entertainment finally decided to thwart the DDoS attacks that have been plaguing the servers for the past couple years. So on PC and both consoles, Titanfall 2 is officially back. And I figured with Titanfall 2 being back, why not make my first tier list video about my favorite FPS game of all time. And we're gonna start it off with my Titanfall 2 Titan tier list. All right, so how we're gonna do this thing is, we're gonna be taking a look at the very first Titan that you get, which is Ion, and then we're gonna go down the list all the way down to Monarch, and then we're gonna place them in the tier that I think they deserve to be in. Now, before we go any further, this is just my personal opinion. This is my Titan tier list. So if yours differs in any way, or I put a Titan in a tier that you don't like, Please don't get mad at me. This is just my personal opinion. And I know that's going to happen. I'm just warning you guys right now. This is my tier list. So to start this whole thing off, we're going to be looking at Ion. Now, we're not going to be looking at the Titan kits or the Titan fall kits because that's personal preference. What we're going to be looking at is the primary weapons, all the other weapons and abilities that they have. And after that, we're going to be looking in the Ion kit, which is the personal kits that each Titan has. So starting off, Ion is a medium weight, medium health Titan. He's not too slow, he's not too fast. His health isn't incredible. His health also isn't really low as well. Now, as far as damage goes, it says he has one star. I think that's kind of bull crap because I think Ion's a decent Titan, but he is a medium range Titan. Now, first we're gonna be looking at the splitter rifle, which is his primary weapon. And this thing is an automatic energy rifle. It's a projectile rifle that basically shoots energy balls. I don't know any other way to explain it, but that's basically what it is. Now, damage to Titans. He does a decent amount of damage to Titans with his splitter rifle. Damage to pilots, an okay amount of damage to pilots. The splitter rifle is an okay primary weapon. It's not the best, it's not the worst. It's like smack dab right in the middle, a decent weapon. Next, we're gonna be looking at his tripwire, his laser triggered explosive mines. To be honest with you, I think the tripwire is absolutely useless. When I run into them, they barely do any damage. And when I use them, I, I honestly, if the tripwires didn't exist with this Titan, I wouldn't notice any difference. The tripwires are trash in my opinion, but that's just something that he has. Now, something that's really nice that he has is the vortex shield. Now this blocks and returns incoming fire. So if you have a monarch blasting you up the with this XO-16 chain gun, you're gonna catch all those projectiles and shoot them right back at him, dealing damage to him and not you. Bruh. Very powerful tool. I think the Vortex Shield is amazing. Now, my favorite thing about Ion is this. Enemy ties are down. Recommend Vortex Shield. The laser shot. This thing is absolutely incredible. It's basically a hit scan one hit kill laser weapon and this thing decimates pilots instantly you can easily shoot them out of the sky and it does a lot of damage to titans as well this is definitely one of my favorite things about ion is his laser shot all right so now let's take a look at his ult his ult is his laser core a heavy chest fired laser cannon now in my opinion this is one of the best ults in the game because this thing absolutely decimates titans and if you touch a pilot with the laser they instantly die all right and last but not least we're going to be looking at the ion kit all right so kit number one splitter rifle critical hits restore energy i believe what that is is when you hit a titan in critical spots it replenishes your ammo correct me in the comments if i'm wrong i'm pretty sure that's what it is i could be wrong i never really use that one zero point tripwire Tripwire deployment uses zero energy. Useless, don't use that one. Tripwire sucks. Vortex amplifier is pretty good. Increases vortex shields return damage output by 35%. Very decent, but not the best. A really good one is the Grand Cannon, which laser core lasts longer. Definitely a good one you can use, but my favorite one is the Refraction Lens which the splitter rifle splits five ways. So instead of shooting three balls at a time, it shoots five projectiles at a time, dealing more damage to Titans, pilots, and everything in between. So as far as his kit goes, I like the refraction lens, but the strength of his kit in general, it's pretty decent. So with that all being said, where does Ion land in the tier list? For me personally, after looking over everything and using Ion a lot recently, I'm gonna put him in the C tier and i know a lot of people are going to be pissed by that that it might be their main titan but like i said this is just my opinion ion to me is a c tier titan and that's because he's just an all-around okay titan he's not amazing he's not terrible he's right smack dab in the middle that's why i'm going to put him in the c 
tier. Now, if you took away his laser shot, honestly, he'd be like a D tier Titan, but the laser shot kind of puts him up to the C tier. All right, moving on. All right, so now we're going to be taking a look at Scorch, which is a low mobility, high health Titan. He is an absolute tank if you know how to use him correctly. Now, first, we're going to be taking a look at his T203 Thermite Launcher. Essentially, this thing is a semi-automatic thermite grenade launcher and this thing is a pretty damn powerful the only downside with the thermite launcher it has a very slow velocity and it's pretty hard to hit your shots accurately if you're shooting at a titan you aim it right at him you could easily miss if the titan moves left or moves right and same with the pilot as well but the thing with the thermite launcher is if you do land your shot on a titan it does a ton of damage and if you land a shot near a pilot not direct hit but near it will kill the pilot as well the thermite launcher is the highest skilled titan weapon in the game if you know how to use this thing and you master it it is absolutely insane now next we're going to be taking a look at his incendiary trap this thing fills an area with thermite ignitable gas now this trap is decent it's not the best trap in the game it's a lot better than ion's trap but for me personally i don't think it does a lot i don't really get damaged by it often and when i use it i don't feel like it does a lot either but it is definitely better than Ion's Trap. Now, next, one of my favorite things about Scorch is his Thermite Shield. This thing melts incoming fire and burns nearby enemies. So if someone's shooting at you, you could basically melt all of their projectiles. And what I really like about the Thermite Shield, if you have a Ronin in your face just slicing and dicing you, you can bring out your Thermal Shield and melt him and do a ton of damage to a Ronin or any other Titan that's in your face. Now, next, we're going to be taking a look at the Firewall fires a directed wall of thermite the firewall is very nice it'll kill a pilot almost instantly and it does a decent amount of damage to titans as well now scorch's alt is the flame core a thermite shockwave that engulfs targets along its path the flame core is decent. It's not the best alt in the game. It does a decent amount of damage to Titans, but it will kill a pilot instantly if it's in its path. All in all, the flame core is an okay ult. Now let's take a look at the Scorch Kit. First, you have the Wildfire Launcher, increased direct damage and thermite from the T203 Thermite Launcher. This is the one that I use. This is definitely the one that you're going to want to use. This is the best Scorch kit, but let's take a look at the other ones. Next, you have Tempered Plating. Scorch is immune to crits and his own thermite damage. Also really nice, but not as good as the Wildfire Launcher. Next, we have the Inferno Shield, increased damage and duration for Thermal Shield. Decent, works well. Next, we have the Fuel for the Fire. Firewall's cooldown is reduced by two seconds. Decent, yes, but still not as good as this one. Last but not least, we have Scorched Earth. Flame Core ignites the ground, leaving Thermite in its wake. This one is actually pretty decent, but for me personally, I prefer the Wildfire Launcher. Now, where does that leave Scorch in the tier list? Now, this might piss a lot of people off. In fact, I know it's going to piss a lot of people off. For me personally, I'm going to put Scorch in the B tier alongside with Ion. Now, the reason I am putting him in the B tier is because he is a very high skilled Titan. If you can master Scorch, he is an S tier Titan. I know a lot of people that main Scorch and they decimate with this bad boy. For me, I am okay with Scorch. I'm not the best with Scorch. There's usually only one or two maps where I like to use Scorch. But for me personally, because he is so hard to use, I'm gonna put him in the B tier. But like I said, if you master Scorch, he is an S or A tier Titan. Moving on. All right, so now we're going to be taking a look at North Star. Now, North Star is a high mobility, low health, high damage Titan. Now, first, we're going to be taking a look at his Plasma Railgun, a sniper railgun that charges up while zoomed. Now, the Plasma Railgun is one of the most satisfying Titan weapons to use in the game. I don't know exactly what it shoots, but it shoots up like a charged up energy ball. I, I mean, I know I keep saying energy ball, but that's the best way I can explain it. But it's like a railgun that shoots a slow projectile because railguns usually shoot a very fast projectile. This is a slow projectile, high damage railgun, and it is unbelievably satisfying to use if you kill a pilot out of the sky, for instance. Now, this thing charged up has a very high amount of damage towards Titans. All around, the plasma railgun is definitely one of my favorite titan weapons to use now next we're going to be taking a look at his vtol hover essentially you can just hover off the ground for i believe it's like 10 to 15 seconds actually no i think it's more like five seconds it's nice if you're behind cover 
and there's a titan on the other side of the cover you can hover up a little bit land a couple shots on him now all in all it's a decent ability that he has but it's not insane it's just a nice thing that he has next he has the tether trap a mine that locks nearby enemy titans down now the tether trap is actually pretty fun to use now in the gameplay you're seeing right now this north star comes up to me he's doomed he throws down a trap and then he hits his nuclear ejection and absolutely decimates me it was absolutely hilarious so you can do funny stuff like that with a tether trap it's definitely fun to use i love the tether trap now next we're going to be taking a look at the cluster missile create sustained explosions on impact it's basically just a little cluster bomb that can do a lot of damage to titans and pilots if they get in its path definitely nice now his ult is the flight core and essentially what that is is it's the vtol hover but instead of just hovering you have an insane missile silo that destroys titans it's definitely nice now is it my favorite ult in the game no but it's a decent ult next we're going to be taking a look at his kits now the first one we got is the piercing shot plasma railgun rounds fire through targets so if you have multiple titans all huddled together you can shoot one and it'll go through that titan and hit another titan next you have the enhanced payload cluster missiles secondary explosions hit a larger range and last longer this is my personal favorite one because i feel like it does a lot of damage next we have twin traps tether traps fire two traps nice but not really necessary next you have the viper thrusters move faster during hover and flight core this one is definitely nice but i prefer the enhanced payload but definitely a good choice last but not least enemies are highlighted while zooming in this is another really good one now, North Star has a lot of good kits. I'm not really saying one is better than the other. I just prefer the enhanced payload. Now, where does that leave North Star in the tier list? This again is gonna piss a lot of people off. For me personally, I'm gonna put North Star in the C tier. And the only reason why I'm putting him in the C tier is because of his low health. And I'm gonna get into that later when we talk about Ronin, but because of his low health, I'm gonna put him in the C tier. His weapons are great. His tether trap is great. His cluster missile is great. His flight core is okay, but his very low health is why I put him in the C tier. North Star, C tier, moving on. All right, next we're gonna be taking a look at Ronin, one of the most popular Titans and the most annoying Titan in the game. Now, Ronin is a high mobility, low health, medium damage Titan. First, we're going to be taking a look at his lead wall. It's basically a projectile shotgun with a wide spread. Now, the lead wall does a lot of damage to pilots and a decent amount of damage to Titans, but it has a very short damage range. You basically have to be within, I think it's 20 to 30 meters. Correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. If you're past 20 or 30 meters, it literally will do zero damage. So for that, the lead wall is just an okay Titan weapon. Next, Next, we have the phase dash quick directional phase shift this thing is extremely extremely overpowered in my opinion his phase dash i mean sometimes you can't even catch up to what he's doing he'll sword you he'll dash away unbelievable amounts of outplayability you can do with the phase dash very powerful next you have another extremely overpowered thing with ronin and that's his sword block reduces damage from incoming fire basically you have low health yes but you have a heavy titan shooting at you you just deflect all of the damage away from yourself absolutely overpowered his sword block absolutely makes ronin next we're going to be taking a look at the arc wave the arc wave is another overpowered thing ronin has slows and damages enemies essentially what this thing is it's an electric wall that'll damage titans kill pilots pretty much instantly and it stuns titans as well which is very powerful now last but not least we're going to be taking a look at his sword core electrified broadsword empowering attacks and sword block the sword core is unbelievably overpowered and just decimates titans with just a few swings you will destroy a titan with the sword core the sword core is one of the best ults in the game it's absolutely overpowered next we're going to be taking a look at his kits first you have the ricochet rounds the lead walls rounds bounce off surfaces it's decent will you ever get a kill with it very unlikely but it's there i don't even know why i have this selected well i have it selected because i don't use ronin much so that's the only one that is selected next you have the thunderstorm arc wave has two charges this one is very nice Next, you have Temporal Anomaly. Phase Dash is available more often. This is the one that I need, so I'm going to buy that right now. Definitely the one that you want to use. Highlander. Titan kills extend the duration of Sword Core. Another extremely powerful kit. Last but not least, when doomed, Ronin phases out of danger. 
another powerful kit. So where does this leave Ronin on the tier list? I have to put Ronin in the S tier. He is unbelievably overpowered. Now, going back to North Star, the reason why I put North Star in C tier and Ronin in S tier is because Ronin has the sword block. So because he has really low health, you think I would put him in the C tier, but no. With the sword block and the phase dash, you can basically take almost no damage with Ronin and decimate heavyweight and medium weight titans. Ronin is 100% an S tier titan. Moving on. All right, now we're gonna be taking a look at Tone. He's another medium health and medium weight Titan, which are my personal favorite. Now let's take a look at his primary weapon, the 40 millimeter tracker cannon. This is a projectiled 40 millimeter grenade launcher, and it is devastating against pilots and Titans as well. This is one of my favorite Titan weapons in the game, the 40 millimeter tracker cannon. Next, we're gonna be taking a look at his sonar lock. This reveals enemies in an area. It shoots out a little energy Ball. And what this little energy ball does is it pings nearby Titans and it'll put a little tracker on them. So when you shoot your rockets or your 40 millimeter grenades, it'll actually bend through space and behind cover and hit the Titans. It's actually very powerful. The sonar lock is very powerful. Nice. Next, we're going to be looking at one of the best defensive capabilities any Titan can have, and that is the particle wall, and that is saved for tone. This force field blocks incoming fire on one side. The particle wall is very powerful. All right, now let's take a look at his tracking rockets. Fires missiles at fully locked enemies. So when you shoot a Titan with the 40 mic mic or you sonar lock them, then you can fire your missiles and it hits them directly. These things are very powerful. The only downside is you can't shoot them whenever you want. You have to wait until a Titan is fully locked on. The only downside with that thing. Now let's take a look at his ult. His ult is the Salvo Core. I'm going to be quite honest with you. I think his ult sucks. It doesn't do a lot of damage and the missiles have a very slow velocity. So it's really easy to miss 90% of your shots. The Salvo Core is an okay ult. It's really not the best. That's the one big downside with Tone, in my opinion, is his Salvo Core. I just don't think it's very good. All right, and now let's take a look at the Tone Kits. Kit number one, Enhance Tracker Rounds. Critical hits apply two tracker marks on targets. This is the one that I use, and the reason I use this is because you don't always have to use the Sonar Lock. You can just hit him a couple times in critical spots, and it'll apply that tracker on them. This is definitely the most overpowered one, but let's look at the other ones. Next, we're gonna be taking a look at his reinforced particle wall. The particle wall lasts longer and blocks more damage. Definitely nice, but not as good as this one. Next, we're gonna look at the pulse echo. After a short delay, sonar pulse echoes a second pulse. Decent. Next, rocket barrage. Tracker rockets fire two additional missiles. Definitely decent, but I don't think it's really worth using. And the worst one is the burst loader. Aiming allows the 40 millimeter to store up to three shots to burst fire. I have tried this one and I do not like it at all. It's definitely, it's just wonky. You know, I don't know what it is about it. I just don't like it. So in my opinion, I would go with the enhanced tracker rounds, but of course it's personal preference. Now that is his kit. Now, where does that leave Tone on the tier list? For me personally, Tone is one of my favorite Titans in the game, but I'm going to have to put him in the A tier. He's not quite S tier in my opinion. He's definitely not C tier. I think A tier is the perfect spot for Tone. Definitely a good Titan and one of my personal favorites. All right, moving on. All right, now we're gonna be taking a look at the big boy himself, Legion. He is a high health, very low mobility Titan. He is the tank of this game. Now let's take a look at his primary weapon, the Predator Cannon, a powerful minigun with a long spin up time. Now I absolutely love the Predator Cannon. The only downside is it has a really long spin up time. Essentially there's a delay for when you press the trigger down and when you can actually fire your weapon. But when you are firing your weapon, this thing will absolutely shred Titans and shred pilots as well. I love the Predator Cannon. It's very satisfying to use. All right, next we're gonna be taking a look at his mode switch. It's pretty simple. Switch between close range and long range precision rounds. It's definitely nice because you can be in the close range position and engage targets faster. And then you can switch over to the long range and beam Titans and pilots at a distance. Next, we're gonna be taking a look at his gun shield, a shield deployed around the Predator 
cannon. This is basically a personal particle wall that doesn't just stand in one spot. You can move this thing around with you. It is very, very overpowered in my opinion. I love the gun shield. Next, we're going to be taking a look at the power shot. Close range knocks back nearby enemies. Long range damages all enemies in its path. The power shot, it's, it's kind of strange. It just basically increases the rate of fire for like a half a second. I don't really feel like it does much, but it's nice if you have a Ronin up in your face, you can kind of knock him out of the way. But it's there, the power shot. All right, next we're going to be taking a look at his ult, which is Smart Core. Now, Smart Core is unbelievably overpowered. You could be shooting like seven Titans and four pilots all at the same time. And to top it off, his Predator Cannon has infinite ammo as Smart Core is active. This thing is absolutely insane. I'm going to be quite honest with you guys. I always hated Legion, but after playing with them to get all this gameplay footage, I'm actually kind of falling in love with Legion. He is very fun to use. His Predator Cannon is extremely satisfying to use, and his Smart Core is unbelievably satisfying to use. All right, next, let's take a look at his kits. Kit number one, Enhanced Ammo Capacity. Increases the ammo capacity of the Predator Cannon. Definitely nice. Kit two, Sensor Array. Smart Core lasts longer. Another very good kit. Kit three, Bulwark. Gun Shield blocks twice as much damage. Very nice. Kit four, Lightweight Alloys. Move faster while Predator Cannon is spun up. This is my personal favorite because he is so damn slow. Last but not least, Hidden Compartment. Power Shot has two charges. Power Shot damage reduced by 15%. Another decent one, but for me personally, I like the lightweight alloy. But the Smart Core one is very overpowered. You should use that one as well. So that is Legion's kit and all of his abilities and weapons. So where does that leave Legion on the tier list? I have to put Legion in the A tier. Honestly, he was a D tier Titan for me before, but after using him a lot to make this video, he is definitely an A tier Titan. He is a tank of a Titan. Legion, A tier, moving on. All right, and last but not least, the most hated Titan in the game, my boy, Monarch, ladies and gentlemen. Now, Monarch is unbelievably overpowered, but we're gonna get into that in a second. He's a medium health, medium weight Titan, which is my personal favorite. I know I keep saying that, I'll shut up now. Now, let's take a look at his primary weapon, the XO-16 20 millimeter hit scan automatic weapon. This thing is unbelievably overpowered. It shreds Titans, it shreds pilots, and like I said, it's hit scan. This thing is definitely the best Titan weapon in the game, the XO-16 chain gun. This thing is disgusting. Now let's take a look at the rearm ability. Refreshes the cooldown of your dash, offensive, and defensive abilities. Another really overpowered thing Monarch has. You can shoot rockets, rearm, shoot rockets again. Back to back, doing a ton of damage to Titans and pilots. All right, next we're going to be taking a look at his energy siphon. Slows enemies and generates shields. Heavily armored targets generate more shields. Essentially, it's like Ion's laser shot, but instead of doing a bunch of damage, it'll stun Titans and take their shields, and it'll also take particle wall energy as well. Very powerful. I love the energy siphon. Next, we're going to be taking a look at his rocket salvo. This launches an unguided rocket swarm. So unlike tones where you have to wait for a lock on, this one you can just shoot whenever the hell you want and you could rearm it and shoot it again. Very overpowered. It does a lot of damage to Titans and it's really good against pilots who are up in your face. You just boom, you hit them with the rockets. They're absolutely dead. Another overpowered thing about Monarch. All right, and last but not least, let's take a look at the most overpowered thing about Monarch, and that is his ults. Yes, his ults. He has three of them, technically. Actually, no, he has like 20 of them, but you get to choose three of them. So let's explain what that means. He has his upgrade core, recharges your Titan's shields, and upgrades your Titan in order of the upgrades above. So every time you hit an ult, you basically get max health back, and you get to choose your ult in that moment. So let's take a look at my core upgrades personally. Core upgrade number one, I use the arc rounds. The XO-16 rounds deal more damage to shields and drain energy from vortex and thermal shields increases ammo capacity. That's the one I use, but let's take a look at what else you can use. You can use the missile racks. Rocket Salvo fires twice the amount of missiles. That's insane. Number three, energy transfer. Hitting friendly titans with energy siphon gives them a shield. Jeez, I mean, all three of these are overpowered and that's just one of his ults, but I prefer the arc rounds. Moving on. Core upgrade two, once you hit all 
bolt number two, rearm and reload, faster reload and rearm speeds. This is the one that I personally use. You reload extremely fast and you rearm extremely fast, very overpowered. Number two, the Maelstrom. Electric smoke is intensified, dealing more damage to Titans and pilots. And eh, that one's okay. Energy field, energy siphon affects a large area around the point of impact. Also okay, the rearm and reload is definitely insane for alt number two. So let's take a look at alt number three. You have multi-target missiles. Hold rocket salvo to lock onto heavily armored targets missiles deal more damage. This is the one that I usually use, but I'm going to explain the third one in a second why you should use that one. Next, you have superior chassis, upgrades Monarch's max health and removes weak point vulnerabilities. Unbelievably overpowered. Honestly, all three of these are really good. Last but not least, the XO16 Accelerator installs the Accelerator mod for the XO16, increasing its max fire rate and damage, a lot like the XO16 chain gun in Titanfall 1. It basically turns it into that. All three of these are overpowered. All three of these ones are overpowered, and all three of the other upgrades are overpowered. He has three ults, and each time you hit an ult, it recharges his shields. This is the main reason why I think monarch is extremely overpowered now let's take a look at his kits kit number one shield amplifier energy siphon shield gain is increased by 25 percent next energy thief core meter is earned 10 percent faster and titan execution steals a battery very nice next rapid rearm reduces the cooldown of rearm by five seconds also nice survival of the fittest survival of the fitness batteries can repair the monarch out of a doom state that's also very overpowered my personal favorite is the energy thief but honestly any of these are overpowered he has amazing kits, three ults, insane weapons and abilities. So where does that leave Monarch on the tier list? I'm sure you're going to guess he is an S tier Titan. In my opinion, he is the best Titan in the game. The most overpowered and the most cheese Titan you can use in this game. Monarch, definitely an S tier Titan. So this is my Titanfall 2 Titan tier list, ladies and gentlemen. If you ended up enjoying today's video, please drop a like because honestly, this video was insane hard to make and i put so much time into this video so if you did enjoy it if you didn't enjoy it you don't have to like it but if you did enjoy the video please drop a like consider subscribing if you are new i will also leave my twitter and my discord linked in the description below again i hope you guys enjoyed the video and let me know your thoughts and opinions on my tier list who would you change around who's your favorite titan so on and so forth again thank you so much for watching guys until next time start out